Hello dear friends and loved ones, let me just check I start this right. Okay, I'm Drumat and today we're going to do a practice tool video because I know how those how important those are, I'm sorry. And I know you might want some full games and yeah, I believe this channel should be for everyone so you're supposed to watch some videos if you're a beginner or mid player or even a better player than that so basically I want to do my content for every single kind of person so this is going to be more of a basic video but I'm going to cover some of the drills and exercises that I do in practice tool when I play Tlia. Now I'm gonna do the classic thing is here I need level 6 I have everything let's go. Now. I'm gonna talk about multiple drills, some of which I talked about, I'm gonna talk about some exercises, some farming exercises, some pushing exercises, and also I'm gonna talk about roaming, so this is all the things you're going to hear about in this video. Now I'm gonna start with the lane phase where you will have a CS exercise 2 actually, the first one is obviously try to practice this works on every champion try to practice your cs while putting a bot here maybe on on normal game not in practice tool or try to um, put um, this target dummy here and try to sometimes poke it with his q and also try to always get let's say let's make a goal or try to get 19 minions in the first three waves or 25 25 minions in the first in the first four waves while still auto attacking and poking this dude so imagine this is a threat that attacks you you have to move you have to clip clicking keep clicking that's okay and the first exercise is basically a farm exercise that you can do on any champion this is a more of a farm exercise that than a Tulia specific exercise again so we're gonna do it now I can't really do it perfectly because I focus talking but it shouldn't be difficult for you to practice, you got the idea, I could do it if I wouldn't do this video but I don't need to show it to prove it, I mean who doesn't get 24 CS while just clicking on a minion. <laughs> but yeah with practice it's easy and you have to try it if you want to farm better as a new player or even a medium player, perhaps experienced players will get less advantage from these tips but it's useful anyway. The second tip that I want to do, I want to I want to make the minions come faster. Fast forward. I'm gonna explain it right in a second, but I need to wait. What is happening here? Well I suppose this tower will never finish with the minions. We'll What is this? Okay, we're gonna move to another lane because this is strong. Now, this is also chaos. The second thing I want to talk about while pushing, let's say you are in mid lane, not in this crap. I mean, jeez. Can I remove minions or something? No, I cannot. I can not even spawn. Okay, and now we spawn minions. Excellent. Now, you're in mid lane, you're having the first wave without the cannon. The first thing you need to understand as Atelier is that your Q interestingly enough doesn't deal damage full damage to the same target as it did before so what you want to do when you have a new wave you want to place yourself such as you hit multiple minions with your Q okay because it says right here subsequent hits on the same enemy deal 5% reduced damage as you can see on any lane you have a bunch of minions and to push faster against that annoying echo that simply cues the wave you're just gonna move like this and try to last hit the ones that you can not kill with your Q. Uh, this is maybe a lesser known tip for Tulia mains because not a lot of people actually read spells and since Tulia got changed a lot of times in the past people might have quit. Uh, looking at the spells so much but anyway the important thing is to do that just as you're going to let's say jungle you're gonna try to hit at least multiple right so you can do this and obviously clear it afterwards now um, another tip that I want to talk about is the it's somehow an advanced form of the tip I, I gave you here 
Remember that I gave you an exercise where you put four of these? Well, first one, then two, then three, then four, like, uh, I, the idea was basically you put one, this, one of, wait, uh, you put uh, one dummy and then you play with it a bit, you put, you try to always uh, hit it over the wall and hit it with your E, so you play against this wall, then you put two dummies and you do it the same, and you put three dummies and you do the same, by the way, I've hit a four man W recently, it was amazing. And basically you just have to try to perfectly do it fast, the combo with multiple targets. This will help your exercising, exercising your W. And an uh, alternative version of this, which I really want to show you, is simply put some dummies, let's say here. And then start walking with them. And then just walk and try to predict where they will fall and do it instantly. Obviously you can put four of them and the goal here is to go once from base to base without missing too many W's or E's. Now you're gonna see that sometimes my E is gonna bug but I suppose this is a pretty good way to practice your skills with W and E. Now another game you can play is the is with Scuttle because it's the only target that's actually moving so you're gonna try to predict where he goes and put the W behind him and so forth now this is a third tip basically it's this tip on steroids and okay let's move to the fourth uh, how can I say drill or or maybe kind of common ults let's say your blue side now most of the time on any side you're going to want to gank bot lane so this is about common ults on bot lane how do you usually proceed when you want to gank let's say let's let's hear Andrew say it well uh, first as a silver tree to Leah that I am I'm, a, I'm not I'm not Rumat I'm Andrew right now okay I'm gonna go right here and probably don't think about words and move like that and la 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 and go till here and alt. Is this the correct way to do it? Uh, not really, but maybe yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, when you are any of this size, the recommended thing would be to have a vision word here, and I say here because most of the time the opponent will have word in this bar. So you don't really care about this word as much as you go if you're red side like this or if you're blue side like this. And if you have a vision word here and you know their mid didn't stretch to go here or jungler because usually word is bash with word anyway at minute 120 or this one but mostly this is recommended. You're probably going to have free access towards the ha first half of the river. And then usually, usually in like 90% of the game, no matter the look, their bot lane is gonna work here, right here. So you're gonna either come around and alt if you have the vision word there, or just directly when they see you, uh, because they will, you will gonna pop into vision, but there will not be enough time. This is for the blue side. Obviously, you can trick. You do, you can do the Talia trick that most mains say. You can go. Let's say you have a vision over here, okay? As a blue side or even a red side, you go to the middle of the lane, you make that lane back off, Lucy as you go back to mid, their mid laner will ping you, uh, and also uh, this will practically be a fake roam. I learned that from Magic Felix, by the way. And yeah, uh, this is the best thing that you can do as a mid laner if you don't have gank opportunities. Just go till here, around here, and go back uh, and try to repeat it. Now, Besides that, even if you're red side or blue side, if you're red side, the thing changes. If you're blue side, I've told you the ways, the main ways are even through here, because if they fight here, they don't have time to react, or to this side when the things are a bit clenched or you want to dive. And also, the most important thing is usually your gank will be 90 more percent successful if you go with your jungler. If you see your jungler going bot, go for it if you think there's an opening. Now, as a red side, as a red side, you're interested in going around. Uh, you get to here, you have the vision word. Now they're going to spam things way more when you're on the red side because it's so obvious. Uh, because it's, you know, easier to catch their, you know, like you just do this, bam, you caught them. Now, usually they have words on blue side, either here in tree bush, most of the time, or even an advanced word around here somewhere because you're against Italia and you want some extra. 
So to, to bypass that you can go this way, you can put the vision ward actually here if you try an early run but you might find their jungler and if you know their jungler is top you can go this way obviously. So it would be like that, bam bam bam, you can till here and you can either us the plan to jump here and alt or you can just go till you're in this bush here or even faster like maybe here and also you don't necessarily need to trap people to make that flash you can just go to reach there faster and just bam you practice your W hit it instantly there you go you got the kill this is the most common way to Liam mains win another like this is the fourth or what this is two most common let's say is the most common two most common ways and you're not going to see many variations of this, you're going to see usually this on the successful ones. I mean, obviously, the bot lane can be here, 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 you're going to do this movement on the map, either this way till bot or this way on the red side, and most of the time these two ways, only those, maybe here with the variation and the assault. This is all the obvious ults you can do, and I usually recommend you to go first on bot lane and ignore top as much. Another thing, the fifth tip I'd say, uh, try, try to, let's say you're level 4, let's say, let's say you just came back from the lane, let me just equilibrate the lane, exactly, let's say you're level 4, okay, level 4, you got, I don't know, some random item, you're full mana, full HP, you recall for some reason, the wave is perfectly pushed, now, you have the option here to go mid, to instantly get mid, use minion the materializer, WQ, and if you're against, let's say, a Katarina, she won't really have time to push as fast as you do. So bam, you then your level 4 still remember, you can just stroll your way towards the bot lane. Usually on the blue side it might be harder, but on the red side you have this option and you can go around, pack, bam, do that, you got yourself a nice W. Nobody expects, look at who he, maybe, yeah, who he was, the Aurelian Super who did early roams that impressed. I, I sometimes mistake him, but usually the early roams before level 6 like throw people off because it, it, they don't really expect you doing stupid things before level 6, I mean who does that? And you can be a 1% of the player that actually finds success with that. Yeah, did I go through everything I suppose? I suppose. So yeah, these are, are the tips that I usually think about that I try to practice sometime the especially the WE and the the CS one and I recommend you to play right now to Lia mid honestly because she's strongest there and in jungle she's kinda weak and team dependent early and in solo queue and lower elos you if you need a team like it's kinda hard. But yeah yeah that's about it. I really hope you liked the intro that I've made, it's actually me playing piano, it's just a random, let's say improvisation, maybe following a bit of a tutorial, but uh, not really to the key, it's obviously not the best version, it's just like me having fun a bit on my new keyboard, it's recently bought, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent keyboard, a P45 I guess. And I love it so much, I had to make a video, and also I think I will keep it as an intro, because it's really, it really does fit to the content, obviously, that I make, so I'm gonna let it there. Besides that, I might make a little bit more clickbaity titles, maybe, because in the world of YouTube, YouTube algorithm basically begs you to do clickbait videos in order to, you know, appear up more up in searches and recommend it. It's kind of shitty because they, because some people once found this algorithm and use it to the point where YouTube is not really anything good by the titles and content, and rarely you see good content. But I might make some some clickbait videos, titles, I mean. And, uh, but besides that, the content is going to be the same. I still I still make full videos and tutorials like this. I mean, if you feel that something is missing from the channel, I'm always up to suggestions and such. So that would be all for it now. Uh, yeah, that would be all. And see you next time. And I really hope these tips helped. I hope the video quality improved, the microphone quality and sound improved. 
and also that you liked my intro, obviously. <laughs> so, see you next time, guys, and have a nice day or night, wherever you are. And thank you very much for being with me since the channel started, and so, yeah, I appreciate you all. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.